Great. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Um, we're happy to pull together this group of community organizations and leadership from those organizations to talk about um, planning for the future. So as James Keith has put it, I think so eloquently, let's not wait till you're in crisis mode to start making plans. There are um, people here, faces and voices you're going to hear today that are here to support those in our community that are interested in changing careers, um, you know, as we are looking to get out of this pandemic, uh, changing careers or uh, brushing up on their skills, maybe even upskilling and acquiring new skills so that they can take on new careers. And so we're going to uh, provide some information to you today uh, to talk about those, those points and um, ask that if you can just keep your uh, phones or your computer audio on mute so that the information um, can be heard pretty clearly by everybody else on the call. And if you do have questions, there is a chat box there um, at, the, at the bottom of your screen and just type your questions in there and I will uh, continue to monitor those and we will ask those on your behalf or um, the other folks here presenting today can answer those questions in the chat as well. We are also recording this um, video so that we can post it on our various websites so that it can be listened to at a later date as well. And, and you're welcome to share that with others too. So. Um, so I think that is all I had on my on my uh, housekeeping notes and introduction. And we will move on to our first speaker today, which is Rocky Wilkerson. Rocky is with Workforce Investment Solutions. Okay, thank you, Nicole. And um, good morning, everyone. I'm excited to be here today and share some, I hope, helpful information uh, for potential job seekers. Workforce Investment Solutions is a federal employment training center, and we wear two hats. We help people, the job seekers, uh, get employment, and we also work with the employers as well. Um, sometimes I've referred workforce to Decatur's best kept secret because um, I'm not aware always that people understand what all the opportunities and help that's available once you walk in the doors. And so today, I'm going to talk just a little bit about the job seeker and what kind of services we have to help you. And then I'll let Larry talk about the employer services. Um, the first thing that I think you need to recognize is that uh, Workforce Investment Solutions at the front of our building, we're located on Pershing Road. And if you remember where Perkins Restaurant is, we're right behind it. And there are three agencies in this building. It used to be the old Eagle Grocery Store. There's IDS, there's Workforce, and there's the Department of Rehabilitation. And so that is um, the One Stop Partners, basically. It's the core group. And the One Stop is the front of the agency. And the One Stop is a place where people can go and come in and get help with career services. They can get help with uh, writing resumes, with interviewing skills, with getting um, online virtual workshops at this point. It used to be that we would have live um, in, uh, career fairs right there in the lobby area, but with COVID, we put everything uh, on virtual. We bring employers in, we find out how many people they need to hire, what the skill sets are, and then we try to help the employees, the potential employees get these skills. And sometimes we will have them fill out applications where they can um, sit with a career planner and the career planner then will determine their eligibility. And if you're eligible for certain, certain um, programs like nursing or welding or manufacturing or CDL, it might be that we can assist with tuition, books, and fees. And so you really have two opportunities. You have the opportunity to enhance all the career services and take advantage of those services that are all free, right, you know, right there in the One Stop Center. They also can hook you up with resources, social service resources, you know, with housing and tutoring and whatnot. There's a whole list of services that you can have access to. And the job readiness is key. That's what they really tune in is to help you become job ready. And the GED programs, the adult ed programs, the bridge programs, bridge programming was developed specifically to get you connected with occupational training. So there's so many um, programs and 
workshops that are available that are absolutely free uh, to people so they can take advantage of it. And so I think what I'd like to make sure that um, people understand today is that if you're looking for a job, I would encourage you to stop at the Workforce Center and make that your first stop and make sure that you're educated about all the opportunities. There might be things that you're not interested in or it's not what you're looking for, but you may get hooked up and referred to something that you do need or that you weren't maybe aware of. So um, at this point, I'm gonna let Larry talk about the uh, employer side of it. Uh, thank you, Rocky and uh, Nicole. Again, Larry Peterson with the uh, Workforce Investment Solutions. One of the services that uh, a workforce can offer both job seekers and employers is uh, financially, it's re uh, reimbursement of wages if a person has the, the skills uh, to get a job with a company, but not all of the skills. So we will reimburse the employer to help train a person. Uh, it's a really a win-win situation where you have the basic skills, maybe some of your transferable skills that you've had in a previous job or even an unrelated job, but it's something that the new or the employers would like to see in an employee. So they will hire you on and then take you through a set of uh, uh, training, which enhances your skills to get better jobs and advance in that uh, particular company. Um, but it also uh, gives the employer a little more incentive to hire you. So that's the, uh, uh, the word that we want to get out is like Rocky said, uh, come into the workforce and apply for our services. You have to be a workforce type customer to, uh, for us to offer those incentives to the employer. So uh, uh, we work in the manufacturing area, the healthcare area, uh, even in the, uh, uh, the, the social service area, Webster Cantrell, we've had also in the hospitals, the uh, 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 people in the industrial areas such as Fuya, uh, in Austin Industrial, Decatur Industrial Electric. These are all companies that have partnered with us to get that reimbursement of part of your wages uh, so that you can become a good employee for them. So I'll quit there and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the workforce. Thank you, Rocky and Larry. I've provided in the chat box a link to Workforce Investment Solutions. So on there, you'll find additional information um, and uh, the references that Larry and Rocky had spoken of. All right, next, let's talk to John Oliver from Richland Community College to see what they have to offer. Good morning, everyone. Um, it, really, the reason we pulled together because there's no better time right now than to get training. Um, we feel that this is prime time to to either, uh, well, we're gonna steal James's thunder again. He said just a reset um, or uh, even further the training that you may already have. So uh, I'm here to represent Richland Community College. I'm uh, the Director of Workforce Development. Um, we have, and when, when we talk about training, there's there's several opportunities this summer that are short-term trainings. And so we do know, and you know, someone will speak uh, from Illinois Department of Employment Security soon, but. Um, you know, unemployment benefits will run out. And so we feel like this is prime time to, to be seeking training. And so there are some short term trainings that'll take place this summer. Um, those focus on healthcare and manufacturing in particular, and then transportation. Um, and so you can go to, uh, well, I'll put the link in the, in the chat, uh, but uh, Nicole and the EDC's website has all of the short term trainings that we're offering this summer uh, so that you can see all the, uh, uh, how to how to possibly get in touch with folks that are involved with those trainings uh, instead of me trying to sit here and talk about each one and list them all out. But, you know, for instance, we have an industrial job skills training program. It is a free program. It's being funded by the state right now with a grant, um, and it is for entry-level manufacturing. Uh, uh, we created that program a couple of years ago, and, and we have about a 90% placement rate. Um, and we're talking, you know, I, I, when I'm trying to sell that program and talk to individuals, now you have to want to work, right? It's it's because it's going to go into manufacturing. You're on your feet. You're uh, you could be depending on which company. It could be swing shifts. It could be third shifts. It, but the thing is, we always talk about minimum wage in the state of Illinois and how it's increasing. Well, just about any student that's gone through this program, they start out well above minimum wage. Uh, you know, we've had most of them. It's 18, and we've had somebody go all the way to 42 uh, dollars an hour. So. 
uh, we have had some great success with that program. So it's industrial job skills training. Um, that program is, uh, there will be two offerings this summer. Um, and then we have our highway construction careers training program. That one will not start until probably the end of the summer uh, because of lab space and the farm progress show taking place. But the good thing is during that program, individuals that are training in it do receive a stipend. So let's say that it does start because I think we're probably going to start it around uh, September. And so, you know, and that's when these benefits are looking to expire. And so at least the stipend would be there to kind of help someone offset until they finish that training. Now that training program really lends itself to the, the trades. So the unions, uh, think about uh, the laborers, the pipe fitters, the uh, electricians. Uh, so that's, it's a pre-apprenticeship program that's funded by IDOT, Illinois Department of Transportation. So again, no cost to you, uh, pre-training. Uh, it's 450 hours long, uh, but when we say that, that's a pretty much a 40 hour week. So it's over with in you know, 12, 13 weeks. And then you would be applying to try to get into an actual apprenticeship program. Um, so those two are two of the two big opportunities. Then really the, the bread and butter in my office uh, that gets people employed and making really great wages um, is our CDL program. Um, I read an article yesterday right before we all went on the news actually to talk about this event, uh, talking about the shortage, right? We all know the joke right now is the price to lumber, uh, but we also saw fuel increase yesterday. There's a fuel shortage, there's lumber shortage, there's the toilet paper shortage, right? So there's shortage of everything, but there's obviously a shortage of labor as well. And, uh, and, and uh, transportation industry has had a shortage for quite some time and it's only expanding. And so uh, we know shipping costs are gonna increase because of this shortage, but our CDL program can essentially, I always like to joke and say that, uh, matter of fact, we've got, uh, I talked to the instruct, one of the instructors this morning, they're going over to test in Springfield today. I would almost guarantee that she'll be working Monday when she gets her license. If, you know, we're gonna assume she passes, knock on wood, hope she does. Um, and so she'll be working on Monday. That's how big of a turnaround it is. We have the recruiters come to the CDL program recruiting while they're being trained. Um, and so a lot of the individuals actually walk out, you know, they walk, uh, you know, they don't walk across stage. They get their license over in Springfield and they're working on Monday. And, you know, and these are, again, this is not minimum wage work. Uh, you know, the average income for a truck driver in Decatur is just over $43,000 uh, per year. You know, if you want to go over the road and work for, uh, um, I'm drawing a blank here, the orange truck, Schneider, um, you know, they're not local, but I know when their recruiter comes into town, uh, someone that's willing to go over the road, that's a $70,000 a year job. I um, mean, that's, that's, that's not chump change for sure. So for lack of a better word. Um, so, so there's lots of opportunities. I want you to go to the link that Nicole did share uh, in the chat. Uh, you can see a lot of those CNA, CNA shortage, right? Uh, huge CNA shortage. And, you know, um, maybe that's not the final stepping stone. Maybe that is the first step to get your foot in the door as a CNA and then go on to be an RN, right? That's where the big money is in the healthcare industry, right? I mean, and there's a shortage of RNs. So, you know, don't look at any of this as the final, but this is that next step, or as James called it yesterday, the reset uh, to get your foot in the door. And then as we call it, career pathways, keep growing. Um, but this is a prime time. And then I would be I would probably be fired if I don't mention that uh, the college right now has enrollment going on. We, um, uh, you can call the college right now. If, if you don't, if you say, hey, I'm not interested in truck driving. I'm not interested in a 10 week program to get into manufacturing. I want to go into IT. I want to, I'm interested in HVAC. I'm interested in automotive. Uh, I'm interested in business, or maybe I do want to go be a nurse or, uh, you know, think about uh, EMS. Um, uh, medical assistant. There's other opportunities that I'm not speaking of that aren't taking place just this summer. Uh, we actually have our our, uh, our credit programs and we'll start August 12th. That's when the next, that's why this is important today because it is a process, right? If you're going to get WEO funding, if you're going to get Pell Grant, um, you need to get all that aligned so that August 12th, when we start, we're good to go. And so you're, you're taking the first step by listening to me talk, uh, but then the next step will actually be getting in touch with Richland uh, to either do one of these short-term programs or to actually come back and get a degree or certificate. So uh, obviously I'll be on the line for any questions. Thanks, John. Yep, I put some links to uh, the summer short-term training available and also um, the additional training opportunities that John had talked about through the industrial skills training program. The Enrich Nicole, program. Yes. I forgot to give this plug. If okay. you want more information, we've got some events going on starting next week. Um, and I'm going to drop that.
Oh, looks like his video went out a little bit, but I think he's going to drop that in the chat. So <laughs> check the chat box uh, for a list of those events taking place. Great. Thanks, John. All right. Up next, let's hear from Ann Goodman. Ann is with the Illinois Department of Employ Employment Security, better known as IDES. And uh, Tori Davis may be joining her as well. So let me uh, find Ann on the list here. And uh, Ann, go ahead and unmute yourself if you can. Good morning. There we go. Good morning. Hear you. Good morning. Thanks so much for inviting IDES to, to join you all today. Um, we absolutely at IDES believe that uh, taking advantage of training while you are on unemployment is, is a game changer. And the Decatur Workforce Center has, has just done an incredible job, Rocky and the crew. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be here today. I'm kind of new to IDES. And I'm excited to share programs with you today um, for all of the job seekers that are looking for maybe to maybe information to answer questions uh, about what direction, what path to take. I think IDES can provide some information. So um, of the services that we provide, we provide job seeker support, labor market information. Uh, we work with our provider partners, of course, and then we have targeted programs. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that today and uh, work through a few slides, I hope. Yep, go ahead, Ann. I've, I've got them pulled up on my screen and we're sharing with everybody. Team, can you see those? Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Could we move to the next slide? Yep. Thank you. Wonderful. So there are some services, that, the primary services that I wanna talk about today are listed on the screen. If we could continue forward. We have a great team of uh, service members that help with outreach intake and orientation. Um, I'm gonna show you today a little bit about our labor market exchange services and talk more in depth about how they can be helpful as job seekers are exploring uh, career pathways and returning to school. Next slide, there we go. So for all the job seekers out there who maybe still have some questions, about um, what is a, a great career? What should I explore? Today, we're gonna to talk about resources that'll help answer some of those questions, you know, including uh, information uh, about pay raises, uh, skill sets, um, what is the possibility for the future, and where can I compare my own skill set so that I know that I can be a competitive candidate in the job market? when I'm finished. So let's first look at the career information system. Uh, this is a, a website that I encourage everyone to explore. There are resources on the career infosys that um, really let you know about um, very specific details regarding each career, as well as details that are local. Uh, sometimes, uh, as an example, job market or pay may be different depending upon geographic area. And so it's important to really drill down. Uh, the CIS is one of two sites. The second site is the labor market information. And again, I encourage job seekers to take a few moments and just explore, maybe have a cup of coffee or, or your favorite beverage and just sort of click on all of the hyperlinks and see um, what information you could use to make an, a good decision so that you know in the long run that you will be happy and be able to support you and your family. Okay, next slide. So sometimes um, after you've done that exploration, uh, you're still not quite sure if it's a personal fit. So you may have discovered that there is a job market um, for a specific skill or job, but you're not sure if it's a good fit for you. Um, one of the sites that we encourage our participants to use is My Next Move. It is an interest profiler that's available at no cost. Uh, it will allow um, participants to look specifically at skill sets as they apply to professional uh, roles. And so individuals can identify their strengths and their weaknesses. 
and get a better understanding about what fits for them. One quick note, um, the scoring on the profiler uh, will disappear once you close the window. And so one of the things that we've had participants do in the past is take a picture of your score when you complete the profile. It's a very short assessment. It takes about five minutes to complete, but you'll want to capture those scores in order to be able to do further research. Okay, next slide. Um, this is also uh, connected to the My Next Move uh, website, and it'll also help give you information, allow you to explore by keywords. As you have searched for jobs, you know how important keywords to, are to the job search. Um, keywords are the, the essential skills and knowledge that employers see in a position. Um, so you can search by keywords on the site, you can browse by industry, or you can just begin with a, more of a conversational approach to explore what uh, possibilities might be for you. Next slide. Um, our most important, most valuable site that we uh, use is IllinoisJobLink.com. And Illinois Job Link, is, as it says, is a very robust and, and dynamic site. Um, we encourage uh, everyone to register. It is actually a requirement for those that are on unemployment. So many of you as job seekers have probably been into Illinois Job Link and have a profile, a resume developed, and that's great. Uh, it's a good site because uh, you can access the postings 24-7 uh, and you can reach out to area um, employers. Many of them, Larry, I think, has reached out to already and gotten their postings on the website. Okay. Next. Yeah. So it is a critical element. And um, one of the things that we seem to run into too frequently is that the information in Illinois Job Link is not up to date. So we encourage all of our participants um, to make sure that those uh, details in their IJL account are current and accurate. So it is connected to the labor exchange system. This is a screenshot of the sign-in page. Um, and again, it's, we're, we're doing those matches with keywords. We wanna make sure that your information is accurate, your skills are accurate, so that you can search for uh, job opportunities and postings. Okay, next, there we go. There's a, a screenshot of the job search page. So it's very easy to search for jobs in IllinoisJobLink.com, okay? Um, Get Hired Illinois is a, an incredibly new resource. Uh, it provides links to um, state jobs as well as Illinois JobLink uh, and WorkNet. So we encourage you to check that out. And then on the bottom of that page, there are hyperlinks, next slide, Thanks. There are um, actually hyperlinks to nine other resources to help explore po job possibility. Okay. Uh, here are just a couple of specific targeted programs that IDES sponsors. Hire the Future uh, is a targeted program for individuals 16 to 24. Next. The reentry program is for those individuals who may have been formerly incarcerated or have other challenges or barriers. Uh, and this is great for juveniles or adults uh, to get back into the workforce, kind of help overcome some of those barriers that they may be experiencing. And the next one. Um, so fragility bonding is, is something that I think oftentimes is overlooked. It's a wonderful opportunity for those who may want to start their own business or go to work for an employer, uh, and maybe they have some challenges in their work history or credit history um, or a dishonorable discharge from the military. Um, fidelity bonding is, is definitely worth exploring. And if you're uh, looking at uh, a profession where you'd like to be self-employed, fidelity bonding may be very helpful. In closing, I'd like for us to go back to some of those questions that we began. And as you are thinking about um, steps forward and connecting with training, 
um, you may have these questions in mind. I want to encourage you to reach out and check out Career Info Systems, the Labor Market Information, and Illinois Job Link. Um, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out and contact IDES for additional information. Anyone have any questions? Great, thank you. Thank you very much, Anne. That was very helpful. And we'll be sure to um, post the links to those. Um, oh, there we go, let's see. I need to stop sharing here. Uh, post the link to those um, to those websites in the chat box as well. Great, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Now, with all of that said, you've heard about a lot of the resources that are available out there to help find jobs, to help identify your skill sets, and um, really encourage you into uh, new careers or brushing up on skills to take new careers. All the training opportunities that are available are pretty robust here in Macon County, but we do understand that there are barriers and that there are challenges. And so what we wanted to do was not only talk to you about all the available resources in that aspect, but also invite our friends from the United Way to talk about the services and the opportunities that they offer to help address some of those barriers um, so that folks can get back to work. So I would like to invite Debbie Bogle and Jane Ski from the United Way to uh, take the floor. Thanks, Nicole. You starting, Debbie, or am I? Go ahead. Okay, great. So um, good morning, everybody. It's, it's great to, uh, to see you uh, on uh, this morning on the Zoom. Um, I, I would just like to highlight a couple of things. Uh, first of all, there may be some of you out there who um, are waiting for a job to, uh, to, to come back around. You left the job um, and, and really what you want to do is go back and, and, and take, take over that job that you used to have. And, and, and that's awesome. I, I think that's fantastic. Um, I would encourage you to maintain contact with your employer, your former employer, to make sure that as your benefits start to, uh, as you get closer to your benefits expiring, um, that that job is still available. And the, the, the thing you don't want to do is find out that uh, what you thought was going to be available um, isn't at the same time your, your, your benefits expire. Um, but but as, as, as John said, um, you know, this, the, the pandemic's been a strange thing. There have been some pandemic pluses, and one of those pandemic pluses is an opportunity to think about is what you were doing, what you want to continue to do. And if it's not, this is the prime time to, to make that change. Um, that There are multiple training opportunities available, as, as we've discussed. Um, you know, I, I, I listen, uh, listen to, to all of the infrastructure uh, bill talk that's going on nationally. Um, and, if, and if that passes, um, John's uh, uh, workforce development, uh, well, it's not the workforce development, but the construction uh, and trades uh, program is going to be phenomenal. There's going to be more work out there um, from, from an infrastructure perspective than we're going to have people who can fill those roles. Um, uh, you know, the, there's projected gas, cri uh, gas um, shortages this summer uh, because we no longer have truck drivers who can get the gas to the gas stations. Um, and and those, those truck driver positions also require hazardous material training, uh, which John's team can provide as well. Um, and so you, you couple a, a, a CDL with a hazmat certification and, and you just exponentially increase your salary, right? And so things to think about as, as, you're, as you're going through uh, your thought process about what it is you want to do in the future. And then you say, well, I'd like to, but, I'd like to, but I still have to pay my rent. I still have to pay my mortgage. If you've been affected by COVID-19, there are resources available from a rent and mortgage assistance perspective. Um, and you can go to Dove Financial Assistance. You can go to the Empowerment Opportunities Corporation, which used to be known as the Decatur Macon County Opportunities Corporation or DMCOC. Same organization, they just changed their name. Um, and they can, they can assist you with rent, mortgage, and utility assistance, uh, which is key. It, it becomes that barrier that you no longer have to worry about. Worry about. I'd, I'd like to back up just a second because I, I want to reinforce and highlight um, what was talked about earlier is uh, Rocky has resources, Larry has resources, John has resources that, uh, and, and, and see what opportunities exist there first. 
see what what opportunities you can get from a book uh, stipend, from a, a, a living stipend, um, from a childcare stipend. Th those resources are available, and, and, and see what opportunities are available there. And and then if if those those opportunities fall short, uh, again there there are other resources available in the community. Um, childcare, big big barrier, huge barrier. Um, uh, we just did a comprehensive search uh, just yesterday of the child care uh, opportunities. So if you want to participate in some of the, the summer training that John was talking about, uh, one of the most affordable child care um, centers in, in, in our community is the Boys and Girls Club of Decatur. Um, check it out. $10 for the entire summer, um, starting from, from the 1st of June, going through the 30th of July, from nine to, to two, Mondays through Thursdays, nine to one on Fridays, your child gets a, a phenomenal opportunity to, to continue to socialize with other kids, um, but also um, under a, a very watchful eye. And, and you won't have to worry about your children as you take these courses. Um, Camp Sakia at the YMCA is kicking off again this summer. They have available slots so um, and, and, and scholarships are available. So if you need childcare, it's available. Um, Decatur, uh, Decatur Daycare um, right now has eight to 10 after school, before and after school slots available. Um, the YMCA has three spots available for three to four year olds and three spots available for, for four to five year olds. The point being is that, that, that the childcare is available, um, but sometimes it's hard to figure out where to go to find it. There's a resource for that in our community. It's called 211. If you haven't heard of it, all you literally have to do is pick up your phone, dial 211. The, the uh, operator that you get in contact with will ask for your zip code. And then you can say, here's, here's what I need. Here's the, the challenge that I'm facing. Um, and, and they will provide you with the resources that are available in our community if those resources are available. And if you can't find anything else, please call United Way of Decatur in Middle Illinois. We will be happy to help you and direct you to where those resources are. Um, transportation, as far as I know, um, bus is still free ride. And so, uh, and those, those bus routes stop at Richland, those bus routes stop uh, near, um, near the, the strip mall where the workforce development is. Um, so, so transportation is also uh, a, a doable thing in this community. And, and those tend to be the things that, 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 um, that are, are those barriers that people say, I'd like to, but, and, and so we're, we're trying to eliminate that, but part of it um, and, and, and figure out how to get you to where you want to be. Um, you know, if you're, if you're experiencing rent or mortgage challenges also, um, Debbie did a phenomenal job this last year, uh, helping with rent and mortgage assistance in our community. And what she discovered was the Decatur Landlords Association, and my guess is that even if your landlord is not a part of the Decatur Landlords Association, as long as you're a good tenant, as long as you are working towards uh, to being able to pay your rent, a lot of these landlords are, are, are very, very, very cooperative. Um, and so talk to your landlord. Uh, you are not alone in this struggle. Um, and and, and uh, pl please reach out. Reach out to 211, reach out to United Way, reach out to your landlord, reach out to your former employer, talk to people so you, you don't just hit a, a, a wall where you're like, oh man, this is my last benefit check, now what? Let's get that ball rolling beforehand. Um, I think that's about it. Debbie, what did I miss? <laughs> Great job. Well, thanks, I appreciate it. I did put it. contact information into the, the chat. So if you would like to look at that, and I also put some links up and Nicole put some links up for 211 and for United Way. Thank you very much. Great, thanks James, thanks Debbie. One final note, um, we've pulled together all of these resources for you. I'm gonna share my screen here for careersdecator.com. So we wanted to make a really simple site for folks to visit. I can see, all right, can we see that screen? Beautiful nope. picture of your family. Oh, yeah, we no, see your okay. beautiful family. Well, there's my cute family and my super funny son and husband. Okay, how about this one? Is that better? Perfect. Okay, great. So if you go to, um, you can either go to limitlessdecator.com 
work and careers or just type in careersdecator.com and it'll bring you right to this landing page. And on this landing page, we've pulled together all of the resources we've talked about today. Um, we also maintain a list of job openings that are right here in Macon County. And that, that um, listing gets updated once a month. And so we just posted this here in the past week or so. And if you click on that, again, the list is long. It's over 1,600 available jobs. And so you just simply click that and it takes you to a Google Sheet and then you can search for different jobs. Again, that can be a little overwhelming. So we, and we understand that. So we would really encourage you to stop at Workforce Investment Solutions or give them a call first, help you sort through that. But as you can see, I mean, over 1600 jobs, there's, there's quite a few available right now. And that's probably on the low side because there are some companies that will have, you know, 150 or 200 positions available and they only list that once on that sheet. So we're, we're probably trending more towards 2000 available jobs right now. How much do these jobs pay? As we talked earlier, these are really good paying jobs. Here are the average wages and the number of jobs currently available in these different, in these different industries. And so, you know, we don't want you to think that these are just minimum wage jobs. There's a lot of great opportunities out there and the folks on this call can help you get trained to get those jobs. Again, short-term job training, like we talked about, there's some different career coach assessments and uh, again, discussions about if you wanna transfer your skills. So links to everybody that's on the call today. If you're interested in getting a free career coach, um, you're, you can also fill out this form right here and that'll be sent directly to Workforce Investment Solutions and also to Richland Community College. Those folks will reach out to you right away and help get you started. So again, another really nice resource that's free and easy to use. Um, opportunities for financial assistance um, to help with um, expenses. Again, Richland Community College um, Foundation, the Community Foundation of Macon County also has some non-traditional scholarships available along with those resources you heard about today. Apprenticeship programs. If you are an employer and you have available positions you wanna submit, you can submit them on the site here. They'll go on those spreadsheets as well. And then again, United Way's wonderful resource in 211. Here are some stories here at the bottom. We've talked to other folks in the community that have made the leap into new careers. And so um, those, those videos are worth watching, I think, to hear their stories. And we will post today's recording on this website as well. Okay, I think that is all we have. Did anybody anybody from the team want to add anything, or anybody out there have any questions for us? Now's the time. Yeah, Nicole, if I could, if I could just make make two more comments, <clears throat> something I, I failed to talk about. Um, so uh, Jackie Hutman at, at Decatur Daycare uh, said she would love to take on more um, more children uh, to care for, but but guess what? There's there's also a childcare teacher shortage. Uh, you can get that childcare certification. At Richland Community College, right? And so uh, help the community, help yourself, help yourself with a great job, help the community by expanding um, the child care services in our community. Greatly needed service. Uh, lastly, um, you know, we've talked about CDL. Uh, maybe all of you have a driver's license. Maybe some of you have never had the opportunity to get a driver's license. And I encourage you to reach out to Old King's Orchard Community Center, uh, where the only driver's education training program outside of the school district is available. And so if you didn't get the opportunity to get your driver's license while you were um, at, in school, uh, that, that opportunity still exists and they can walk you through that as well as uh, providing assistance through their Wayfinder program. So Old King's Orchard Community Center, another great resource. Thank you, ma'am. Great, thanks, James. And I'll put their phone number in the chat right now. Nicole, I wanted to mention what, when I dropped off, sorry about that. Uh, we're having a Women in Trades event, a uh, five week uh, series talking about uh, uh, different trades, different programs at Richland. Um, you know, we're highlighting women because uh, it, there's less women in those fields. And so we're trying to encourage more women to go into HVAC, agriculture, manufacturing, et cetera. Uh, but anybody's welcome to come uh, uh, participate in those. Uh, we'll, essentially next week, we'll start highlighting agriculture. And then on the Thursday of each of those weeks, next week being agric agriculture, on that Thursday, there will be a panel discussion with somebody from industry, uh, our faculty members and our coach. So if you look at those five weeks, you'll see all the different programs we're gonna highlight. And then on those Thursdays, there will be a panel discussion where you can learn more about each of those programs. Sorry. Excellent, that's great information.
Anybody else? All right, anybody from um, uh, joining us on the call today, if you have a question, you can either type in the chat box or feel free to unmute yourself and ask as well. I had a question. Yes. On the chat box, uh, can I still see the chats even though we're done? Um, yes, I believe so. I think they will be stored in the video that we are recording okay. now and that will repost. But um, if you would like to send me a personal chat with your email address, I can send you these links. Okay, thank you. you You're welcome. Yep. You can also click on those three dots there in the chat. If you click on those three dots, you can save the chat. Uh, I like it for the three dots. Oh, okay. Uh, down at the very bottom. Perfect. You know what? Thanks, John. My I, computer, that as well. I, don't know. I don't know how to do this. That's all right. What? Why don't you, uh, yep, perfect. Yep, send me a, uh, oh, I got it. Okay, I'll email, the, I'll email the chat to you. No problem. Thank you. Anybody else would like that as well? Go on ahead and... Um, send me, uh, Nicole Bateman is my name, and I'm from the Decatur Economic Development Corporation. I think I failed to properly introduce myself earlier, but uh, we run the Limitless Decatur campaign, thecareersdecatur.com, and um, the Economic Development Corporation here in the community. So, so anyway, if you would also like uh, the chat log, I can email that to you. All right. Um, Oh, careers. Okay. Uh, no problem. Got a lot of dog barking in the background. We did not hear your dog barking, uh, which is okay. Uh, the gentleman talking about careers and ag, that is at, going to be at Richland Community College. John, where can they find more information about that careers and ag um, in the careers for women in trades series? Yeah, I'm going to share the link again. It's on the Richland website. And so, like I said, next week is agriculture. And so, uh, during the week, we will be kind of just showing videos and things on the Richland Facebook page. I'll include that here in a minute as well. Uh, if you want to follow Richland, I do recommend you do that. That way you can say, uh, you know, in the uh, any, any highlights that we have going on, we always share there first. Um, but on Thursday, for each one of these weeks, so next Thursday, uh, there will be a panel discussion just like this, except for it to be uh, people either teaching agriculture at Richland or someone from industry or previous students and alumni and all that good stuff. So that link there will take you to that uh, schedule of events. Perfect. Mention if there was something that we didn't mention as far as a barrier or an issue that might prevent you from even seeking out some of this information further, please call us. Rocky has great um, programs that really help solve those barriers. Richland does, Larry does. We are all working hard to make sure that we can help eliminate those barrier, barriers. So if you're hesitant, at least call one of us and we will try to help you through that process. And I always say this when I'm speaking to a group, people see Nicole on TV and everybody thinks she's the one making this community better. And I always, you know, and I say that when I'm talking in front of a group and they're looking at myself or a Courtney Carson or whatever. And, and I say, no, it's you. I mean, you really, the audience, you're the, if everyone wants to complain about Decatur or whatever, it's actually us that, that can make it better. Not the ones you just see on TV or, or providing these resources, you know, you have to take advantage of it and, and we're going to make it better to get together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, and, and on that point, companies that are already located here are looking to expand. I have those conversations with them nearly every day. Their biggest concern is not having enough people to run their companies that as they exist now, let alone expanding and providing even more opportunity. And so um, we really want to make sure that we're doing all we can, everybody on this call, to help folks connect the dots so that our community can become even better than what it already is. So... Yeah, and I just, I just want to emphasize again, please do not wait until your benefits run out and you find yourself in crisis. Uh, all your challenges become exponentially harder once you're in crisis. Um, so, so take this opportunity, 
uh, while, while you still are receiving benefits, while you still have a, a safety net underneath you uh, to, to figure out what the next move is. And if the next move is right back to where you were, great. But if it's not, uh, this is the time to, to start making those decisions. We had a great question come in. Um, do you lose unemployment benefits if you attend school? How can you keep the benefits and go to school at the same time? Larry, you want to address that? Yes, it's an individual um, type of decision. The first step, of course, is to become a workforce investment solutions uh, uh, customer where we can see your um, your goals and your career goals. And then we coordinate and talk with the Illinois Department of Employment Security. You heard from Ann earlier on all the services that they offer. And if things match up, yes, you can actually keep your unemployment while going to a state approved training uh, program that has been sponsored with Workforce Investment Solutions. So the key is uh, get in touch with Workforce to uh, you know, plan your goals. Excellent. Okay. Nicole, I had one other just another just reminder for yep. people on the call. Uh, the number that you call to get this Zoom invite is the Workforce Investment Solutions number, and we regularly offer recruiting events with employers. Uh, it's a <laughs> Without you having to travel, without the employer having to travel, you get a firsthand uh, contact with a hiring person to ask questions about that company. So if you want to uh, see what's coming up, just always call the workforce number or you get on her, to our Facebook page. I believe Jenny Wernicke uh, is on this line and she'll put the workforce page. Keep in touch. I mean, you know, for 30 minutes. You can actually hear about job openings, ask your questions, and uh, perhaps get an interview. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I think we've had that happen uh, in the past where people have been on the virtual uh, career fairs and actually got an interview. So it can happen. Excellent. Okay, well, if there's nothing else, um, no other questions coming through. I wanna thank everybody for taking the time to uh, present information today. So thanks to the team you see here on the screen and their staff that make it happen behind the scenes. And thank you to every one of you who called in and joined us today. This gives us a lot of hope. We know people are interested. We know people want the information and the fact that you took time out to to be with us today really means a lot. So thanks to those who um, provided their email addresses. I'll go ahead and send you the links from today. You can also, I'll make sure that all of those links and the same video um, will be on, or the recording, the video from today will be on careersdecator.com. So you can search for all the information there too. But again, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we we uh, will only make our community stronger with your help. So if that's all we've got, then we'll uh, everybody have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Bye-bye.